Hello, this is a message I received from the Lord on the 15th of August, 2024. It is about how the government uses chaos to control the citizens. Let me read. Chaos is a weapon of mass control. They create a situation that leads to the complete breakdown of law and order so that they can declare a state of emergency. They take advantage of the chaos. That is what happens a lot of times. People who are in power, many of the corrupt leaders, they would see a crisis and all they think about is how can I take advantage of this crisis to remain in power or to declare a state of emergency, to control the people, to grab more power for myself. That is what a lot of people in government do. I am giving this message out because we need to be wise. The power of every democratic government resides with the people. If the people do not understand how these things work, they will continue to support those who oppress them in government. We can see the war in Ukraine. I remember when the war started, the Lord revealed to me that this war is World War Three. that we should pray. We can see how the war is escalating every day. Now, Ukraine can shoot directly and even invade Russia. Let us be wise. Anybody that wants war should not be voted into power. This should be one of the agenda of every public figure seeking for public position, especially the position of the seat of the president of any country. Our world is boiling right now. A lot of us are very much willing to be controlled by men who are in position and are willing to make the people slaves even in their own lands. We see the level of corruption in Nigeria, especially in the northern part of this country, and we see people have come out to say politicians are exploiting the nation by allowing the crisis, the insurgency to continue, that it has been politicized. Please let us be careful. This is not about Nigeria alone. Many people who are in power are under the influence of the globalists, unelected leaders who feel that they are too big, they can choose to do whatsoever thing they want. Let me tell you one thing. Are you aware that many of these leaders and people in public positions, many of them belong to different secret societies? You could see two presidents who don't agree. They could even be in a war, yet they belong to one secret society. They have meetings together and they can agree on what to do, party together. But in the real world, we see them as enemies. We are taking sides, but they could be one. They know where it is going to end, but many of us are not wise. We as citizens must not support war. Sometimes they tell us they are fighting for the rights of our country. Not every time that statement is true. A lot of times it is about the agenda of some globalists somewhere who want to achieve their selfish aims, maybe to reduce population. Let us be wise. Let us be prayerful too. Please pray for our world. The next video is going to be about a revelation the Lord gave me about World War III and our role as Christians. People who are living in this particular time. I'm Brother Azana David. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and share this video with someone. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel also. God bless you. See you next time. Bye.